flag and the Culpeper flag and the cowboy hat and the images of freedom or whatever the image of freedom is that, that resonates with you, V for Vendetta, whatever. Because we are the people. We are the authority, not the big giant government buildings and the helicopters and the Air Force Ones and Marine Ones and all the garbage, all the red carpets, all the pomp is to make you feel small, make you feel like a peasant. Emperors have been doing this for thousands of years, learning that big walled cities, trumpets to announce them, makes everyone feel small so they can then abuse you. Well, I don't want to live under that. And this was pure civil disobedience because they'd had the grazing rights before. The BLM had claimed these later. He was the only guy still in business of 52 other families because they'd run all the others out when their families on wagon trains when nobody was out there, not even Native Americans. That place, nobody was out there. That was the middle of nowhere. And that's why they went out there so that there was no one they had to take the land from. And then they produce, you know, my dad was down in Paraguay, and we're going to our guest, doing uh, charity medical work. He's, he's done that off and on. And it was Paraguay, or was it Uruguay? I forget. He's gone to a bunch of those places. And he, you know, he saw the dynamite thrown on the field uh, during a soccer game. He went and saw one afternoon. It was on the news. It was a hand grenade. He said he saw it was a stick of dynamite. The guy was like a 100 yards from him when he got up and threw it at the ref because he was mad at him. <laughs> Talk about sports controlling people. Uh, but the Amish are the only ones that feed the country, basically. They went and took the desert north, and I went and looked it up online. And there it was in the news and built everything. Now the socialists want to take it from them. And it's the same thing. It, it's the same story over and over again of Amish trying to go to the middle of the nowhere desert to be left alone and turning it green and feeding the whole country. There's a couple of South American countries where the Amish literally feed the whole country. Just because they're moral and don't stab each other in the back. Well, it's the same thing. I would just call some of these Mormon folks out in the middle of nowhere, you know, kind of doing the same thing. And here comes the system, and all they've got is being their own group, and they're not going to live under it. And that's the groups the Homeland Security trains to go after because they know in the end of the final equation, you're not going to give in, and then you're going to end up being leaders. Anybody that stands up in a city or a town, black, white, old, young, Catholic, Jewish, agnostic, it doesn't matter. If you stand up for basic liberty, the system's going to come after you because you're a leader. Now, speaking of leaders, I was the first person to ever interview Joe Bannister for radio and TV. Pat Shannon interviewed him for, I think it was Media Bypass, I forget, or maybe Angie Scheister, I don't remember. <clears throat> and I went and I and interviewed him while I was out covering Operation Urban Warrior in 99, and he had just quit as a treasury agent, armed treasury agent, you know, one of the raids and stuff, when he heard a radio show claiming that the IRS was basically a collection agency, it was a fraud, Federal Reserve was really private. He said, that's all crazy. Spent a year trying to disprove it, found out it was all true, Went and told his superiors about it. They said, go ahead and resign. He did resign. Then they tried to put him in prison repeatedly for speaking out. That made national news, and juries found him not guilty. We're going to break, but I wanted to get him on for 40 minutes here today on tax day to talk about the fraud that it is. But briefly, Joe, what is your take on the situation with the Bundy Ranch and what's just happened? Hi, Alex. Well, thanks for having me. Um, uh, Bundys are fellow Nevadans. Um, I've been in Nevada since 2005. And uh, my heart goes out to them uh, and to the people that were out there. Uh, I was riveted uh, watching the, the video stream with David Knight out there and Josh, uh, riveted like everyone else and, and rooting for them. Um, they're going up against a big tyranny. And uh, I just a very, very uh, overjoyed that there's a Nevadans like the Bundys uh, there to uh, stand, stand their ground. Well, even if, even if they claim the grazing rights were legal, which the, I've looked at it, it's not. It's another fraud. And, and we got to push back someday. It put the other 52 families out of business. Right. I mean, wh where else can they go? What else can they do? Uh, this, is, this is proof that uh, the government won't be happy until you are homeless, you've got nothing to eat, and then if you'll just uh, you know, sign up to uh, be evaluated by the death panel, they'll like it just fine. Exactly. They want control. And who was it said the power to tax is the power to destroy? It was George Washington first said it, and then the second Supreme Court's Chief Justice said it. And the power to tax is the power to destroy. We're going to talk to Joe Bannister, a true hero on the other side, another man who stood up and went through living hell 
the Tell the Truth, former special agent with the Department of Treasury. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Uncover a simple privacy loophole that can stop the NSA spying thugs in their tracks at privacylockdown.com. The NSA has already shut down hundreds of sites, and the truth be told, they could shut down this operation at any time. See, the privacy loophole I'm about to show you allows you to make all your sensitive information disappear in the next 30 days or less. Go to privacylockdown.com now to take your life off the grid and see the loophole in the NSA and FBI spying machine before they close the loophole forever. Go to privacylockdown.com. Hi, this is Ted Anderson. Have you ever wondered why banks, stockbrokers, investment advisors won't talk about gold IRAs? They've been available since 1986, yet the financial industry won't recognize the value of gold for your retirement. Gold has outperformed paper investments, yet no word about IRAs. If you would like to have gold for your retirement, call 800-686-2237. Don't get left behind by rising inflation and low returns. Call 800-686-2237. Secure your future and call 1-800-686-2237. It's been said, those who control the food, control the people. Are you concerned about GMO foods making you sick and affecting your mind? Many people suffer from lack of energy, insomnia, loss of stamina, weight gain, and the inability to think clearly. Genetically modified crops, processed foods, and toxic chemicals can compromise your health and are silently destroying your digestive system, which accounts for 80% of your immune system. Take back control of your health with Pro-EM1 Probiotic from Terraganics. Pro-EM1 Probiotic helps protect your body against irritable bowel syndrome, constipation, Crohn's disease, celiac disease, diabetes, the common cold, and much more. And including a powerful probiotic like Pro-EM1 as part of your daily routine puts you back in control and prevents you from becoming a mindless zombie manipulated by the pharmaceutical and GMO agendas. Call Terraganics at 866-369-3678 or visit Terraganics.com. T-E-R-A-G-A-N-I-X.com. If you're worried about your health and you're tired of the nasty side effects of harsh drugs or antibiotics, then look no further. Supernatural Silver is the answer. Supernatural Silver is a powerful immune system enhancer that can be used every day to help keep you healthy and well with none of those nasty side effects. It's extremely safe for use internally as well as topically. And Supernatural Silver is hundreds of times more effective than colloidal or ionic silver. It is perfect for use in the sinuses, eyes, ears, and on any wound or skin issue. Supernatural Silver is also extremely effective when taken orally and can help fight off bacteria, viruses, and mold that may be overwhelming your immune system. Go to SupernaturalSilver.com SupernaturalSilver.com and use the promo code SILVER Silver 2014 for 20% off of your entire order and give yourself and your loved ones a fighting chance with Supernatural Silver. What I'm about to tell you is based on information obtained from a little-known government document called FT-900. This bombshell government document contains evidence on what I believe will cause the next 9-11. I've just posted a video at www.next911exposed2.com that not only analyzes the contents of this document, but it walks you through the exact timeline of how and when this 9-11 event is scheduled to occur. Just like 9-11 had a lasting impact on our society, this event will reshape America. It will swipe trillions off markets and retirement accounts everywhere and destroy the way of life of millions of unprepared Americans. But it will also trigger what promises to be the biggest wealth transfer in the history of our nation. But you only have a few weeks left to take all the necessary steps to protect yourself and your family. Just visit www.next911exposed2.com to view my newly released video. Again, that's www.next911exposed2.com before it's too late. Daniel Webster, in 1819, in the Supreme Court case, attribution, the quotation came from the words of Daniel Webster and those of John Marshall in the Supreme Court case, McCullough versus Maryland. Webster, in arguing the case, said an unlimited power to tax involves necessarily a power to destroy. But the power of taxation by the states may be ex exercised so as to destroy it. 
it is too obvious to be denied that the power to tax involves the power to destroy. Cannot be denied is the full quote. Well, let me show you what Agenda 21 is in Cloward and Piven. Forbes magazine today. CBO, Congressional Budget Office, Obamacare will spend more, tax more, and reduce the deficits less than they previously thought. Well, he says raising the debt limit doesn't raise the debt, so there you go, magic wand. It says spending projections for 2013 to 2019 have increased with Obamacare $124 billion on taxpayers. And by the way, this is a great tax. You're going to get to pay it. 20 different taxes administered by the IRS. They're now announcing, oh, they will be grabbing your wages. They will be grabbing your bank account. Obamacare was a database for you to come waive your rights to counsel and the right to remain silent and give them the right to come after your bank account and increase the prices. And it's a tax to a foreign group of banks that own the insurance companies, the Supreme Court ruled. But that's not the first time. The IRS pays the private Federal Reserve, as Joe Bannister exposed. So why not, if we already pay the Federal Reserve all this money, and the Federal Reserve private banks own the big insurance companies. Why not pay money directly to them? Joe Bannister, former Treasury agent, break down what I just said. Give me your take on it and where all this is going. Well, uh, again, thanks for having me on, Alex. Uh, you know, the thing is, we only there's only 545 people uh, that that run our lives. If you think about it, nine Supreme Court justices, a president, 435 members of Congress, and 100 senators. And it really is within our grasp to uh, change. Those. We can't maybe change those nine Supreme Court justices so quickly, but um, those other 536 people, <laughs> it's really not that difficult. But the problem is that you have 30 to 40 percent of the population that loves the servitude that we're being given. And the rest of the people that are, you know, they're on the gerbil wheel trying to keep up. Uh, as you say, with the Federal Reserve and the income tax, who can blame people trying to just, you know, keep their families fed? Uh, but the thing is, as you've pointed out, it's going to get a lot worse. And so we better start fighting a lot more now while we still have a house to live in, a roof over our heads, food to eat. Uh, because the plans are, as you've pointed out so many times, that we won't have those things. And that's how they can really get control of us when we don't even have a roof over our head or food to eat or if the food we have will be gmo and uh, you know fluoridated water and uh like i say just one foot in the grave and one foot on a banana peel when you were first speaking out 15 16 years ago before all your trials and tribulations it was pretty rare to have folks saying what we're saying now so much of what we talk about it's almost passe it's hidden in plain view but then no one gets in trouble it, 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 what do you call that paradox? Uh, it, it really, it, it, it kills me, you know, to see uh, that smug look on Harry Reid's face in that interview that was uh, published yesterday, that's when I saw it, where he's saying, you know, it's not over. Um, it's just, it makes me sick to my stomach to think that people like that can not only get into office, but stay in office and then work with their own children um, and then appoint, you know, the head of the BLM, and they're all just this little cabal uh, where Harry Reid is like the king of Nevada. And he literally is so smug. Uh, and then if you, you can repl replicate that, of course, by all 50 states, they have their corrupt people, uh, Corzine in New Jersey, and, you know, Feinstein and Boxer out in California. They all have their little fiefdom, uh, their little kingdom. And, uh, they're just destroying America, you know, all 50 states at once uh, because of these senators and congressmen that, that keep getting sent to office. And uh, it just it drives me crazy. As you say, over 15 years that I've been in this, uh, it's been very gratifying to see more and more people come in and help row the boat. Uh, and my hat's always been off to you because, you know, you were in it even before me. Uh, we met there, I think it was March or April of 1999 when you were filming your uh, Police State 2000. Yeah, the military invasion. I want to come back and get into what the IRS is, where it's going, and the fact that they won't prosecute the illegals putting in fake tax returns. It, it's just incredible uh, all the things they're doing and how the big corporations don't pay any, hardly any tax. Because, I mean, Warren Buffett, all of it with Joe Bannister. I'm going to give your website out. He has an excellent website. We'll put that on screen. When we come back, I'm Alex Jones. We're on the mark.